everybody, what's up? Dramatic64 here with another fantastic unboxing. This time we're unboxing the Animal Crossing New Leaf 3DS XL. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we have the box of the 3DS XL itself. Now the box is actually pretty creative. It has the Animal Crossing 3DS pattern all over it. It also has a nice big picture of Animal Crossing on it with its 90% bigger screens. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here we go. And a whole bunch of stuff falls out. So let's close it back up and I show you guys the craziness that this box has. Because it's a box and it's all awesome. So there's the side view. And here we are in the back. And there's a whole bunch of words, 9% bigger screens. And there on the front, on the top of the box, I'm sorry, has Animal Crossing Edition written on it. And then on the side, there's the Animal Crossing logo. With, again, the really cool 3DS print all over it. Now, let's take a look at what's inside this box. Alright, looks like we have... Let me get this thing off. There we go. Looks like we have some AR cards. Standard fare for any 3DS owner. The Club Nintendo Rewards Coupon. And the Quick Start Guide in various languages. And next up we have the 3DS Manual itself, which nobody reads ever. So what else comes in this mysterious box? Well, looks like we get a charger. And no cradle, unfortunately. No cradle. But the coup d'etat is right here, baby. Right here. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's unsheathe our master sword of Animal Crossing Polka Dot Pop Tart goodness. And here we have the 3DS XL itself. A lot bigger and a lot more colorful than my current 3DS will ever be. It is nice white with houses, apples, I think, and leaves. And here's a look of the inside of the 3DS. Very big, beautiful screens. A very nice touchpad, a circle pad, plus pad, X, Y, A, B buttons, and home start select buttons, and a power button, a boot. This 3DS really has it all. For size comparisons, let's bring in my old 3DS. Yeah. Kind of dwarfs it, doesn't it? kind of dwarfs it. It is huge. This thing is a joy to hold in my hands. I mean, honestly, this, th this doesn't even compare. Whoops, I have something on. Um, I was playing my 3DS. It's a system. You have to play it. But, yeah. This thing dwarfs it by a million light years. Here, let me turn that off. There we go. So, yeah. If you haven't picked up a 3DS XL and are wanting a bigger screen, definitely go with an XL. Because you'll get a bigger screen. I mean, here, here. Let me, let me close this thing. Look how small that is compared. Look, look, here. I'll, I'll even put it behind it. It's gone. It's magic, ladies and gentlemen. It's magic. All right, let's move on to the transfer part of this video. So, here we go. Okay, now that we've got the unboxing out of the way, let's move on to the system transfer. For this part, we'll focus mainly on your original 3DS unit. If you have an XL, this will work the same way. I don't, so I'm going to use my th original 3DS and my XL unit. First thing you do is you're going to want to turn on your 3DS. That's kind of important. And I'm, I have a little bit of trouble with my button. Alright, so you're going to want to scroll over to system settings. And open that up. And uh, here, let me dim the lights for you guys so you guys can see the craziness that's going on, on my screen. Alright, hopefully that's a little bit better. Alright, so you want to go to the other settings tab. Then scroll on over with your little finger or stylus, whichever you prefer, to system transfer. It's next to the circle pad option. This may take a little bit longer because, you know, 
the 3DS is kind of slow. Once you're in there, it'll connect to the internet. If you don't have internet, then I can't help you. And you shouldn't be watching this video anyway. Go to the 3DS transfer you tab. Not the DSi one. It'll give you a warning saying you only have five attempts. And click send from this system. This is important. Now let's move on to the 3DS XL. Okay, so let's grab our shiny new 3DS XL, open it up, and go into system settings just like you did with your previous 3DS X non-XL. Then go into other settings, tab on over to system transfer. And this may take a while just because, well, you know, it's slow a little bit. And it's going to give you a few pop-up warnings and it's going to connect to the internet. Now, depending on your internet speed, this can take a while. So, you know, if, if your 3DS isn't charging, maybe take it downstairs, go get a cup of coffee, you know, whatever. And uh, then hit 3DS transfer. And uh, don't, you'll get the same screen responses. And uh, click receive from 3DS. That's important. You need to make sure you do that or else you will screw this thing up. By the way, I'm not liable if you screw this thing up. And uh, now, let's move on over to our old, decrepit, normal 3DS. Okay, so you're gonna click your nickname, user thing, and it's gonna come up with a few pop-ups, and you're gonna wanna go over to your Excel unit over there and click the yes button make sure to read all these prompts because if you don't you could potentially destroy your stuff just saying so now you're gonna go over to your source transfer system which is the original 3ds and you're gonna want to read all this gobbledygook Alright, and it's going to start preparing the transfer. And you're going to get another pop-up. Make sure to read all these things. Just like I am. I'm reading them, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Now, it will give you a warning, and you're going to want to read this warning because it can be important you know just saying it's important to read all this stuff all right so you're gonna hit next hit yes and it, when then hit the transfer button of course now to move all your DSI if you have any DSI where it'll move that to the SD card and that's important for later on all right so it's gonna start transferring all your stuff and uh, once the system starts, you'll see Pikmin start coming in on your 3DS XL, if you've done everything right. Okay, so now that that's all done, your system is almost finished. We're almost done. We're at the home stretch here. Your system is going to restart. Now, after it finishes restarting, you're going to be brought back to the system transfer screen where it's going to need to check your internet again. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of internet checking in this tutorial. However, this can take a while, so again, maybe get yourself a snack or sit there and watch it for a few minutes. It's not going to take forever. Like, it's not going to take an hour. But it, mine took a 
lot longer than I thought it would. So just be wary of that. And then once that's done, it'll have a little pop-up that says, your DSi world will now be moved to the system memory from the SD card. Please insert the SD card now. Basically what that means is take your SD card, your two gigabyte, which was in your original 3DS, take it out and take out the four gig that is in your four, in your 4DS, in your 3DS XL. Take those both out and swap them. Well, don't, don't swap them, <laughs> actually. Um, now this is the part where you turn off your original 3DS. You need to turn it off. So take out your SD card. You done? You ready? Okay, now that you have your SD card out, pop it into your new 3DS XL. And once you have that done, there's gonna be a little prompt. I accidentally hit my button, so um, don't do that. And then click move, and it will start preparing to transfer. And it will transfer all your DSiWare stuff over to your new 3DS XL. And now your transfer is complete. However, I bet you're wondering, well, what am I supposed to do with this four gig SD card here? It's got more memory. Have no fear, loyal viewer. I shall show you. Now, before I show you though, I want to show you that, and I said show you so many times there, that all your home screen and stuff is completely safe. It's transferred all over. I mean, look at that. I got my ambassador games, I got all my folder games. Now I bet you're wondering, where's my Animal Crossing? Well, I'll show you, right back. But before we go, I want you to remove your two gig SD card. Now make sure you turn off your system before you do this. So take that SD card out right now, take it out. And meet me back at your computer. Okay, so you're at your computer desktop screen thing. Now then, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to pop in your 2 gig SD card. Make sure you do that. Pop it in. It'll pop up. Now, take everything. Select everything. Make sure you select everything. Now, go back to your desktop. You ready? You still follow me. You still follow me, okay? All right. Now, go to your new. Make a folder. Name it whatever you want. I'm just naming mine 3DS just to keep things simple. Oops, if I can type. All right, 3DS, there you go. Now open it up. And uh, just throw everything in there. Now, I want to mention, if you have two um, slots for your SD cards in your computer, you can skip this step entirely. You don't have to do this. It's not mandatory. But I don't, so I'm going to do it. Now, this can take a while, depending on how much stuff you have on your 3DS and how much, how fast your computer is and all this gobbity gook and dip -a dip -a da And so we're just going to fast forward through this and, you know, I'll be back. Okay, so now that all that stuff is done and we're all ready to go here, I want you to go ahead and just rip out your SD card. Rip it out. Rip it out of your computer. It is no longer welcome in your computer. It is done. We are done with it. It's done. You can put it back in your original DS and just leave it. We're done. No need for that anymore. Now pop in your new 4 gig SD card. Yeah, that beast right there. Pop it in. And go ahead and just select everything and transfer it on over. Now I actually goofed a little bit on my 4 gig SD card and actually inserted it back in my 3DS before I put it, all this stuff back on it. So. Make sure that it's blank. If it's blank, then you're good. If it's not, then you're going to have to sort some files out and stuff. So don't do what I did. Now again, this will take a while, so just sit back, enjoy some popcorn, and watch some Netflix, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so now that everything's all transferred and whatnot, let's go ahead and pop, pull out our SD card. And I'll meet you guys back at your 3DS. If you have your 3DS near your computer, then you probably don't need to go anywhere. Now then, since you have your 4 gig SD card in your hands, go ahead and put it into your 3DS XL. And once that's done, turn your 3DS on. The transfer is fully complete. You'll have full access to all your games. That's right from the Ambassador games to everything else you downloaded. Now, I bet you're wondering, if you bought a 
3DS XL unit that came with a game inside it digitally downloaded. What happened to it? Well, dear viewer, here you go. You go to the eShop. That's right. Go to the eShop. Unfortunately, due to the system transfer, it was not put on your home screen. So what you unfortunately have to do is go into the eShop. In my case, it's Animal Crossing, because that's the most freaking awesome game ever. And you just click the icon, and all you have to do is re-download it. That's right. No cost. And you have to enter your zip code, which I will do off screen because I don't want you guys knowing my location. It's top secret. What's wrong with you people? Stalkers. But anyway, once you finish in putting your zip code and choosing all the necessary options for your location and whatnot, you will then be prompted to the download screen with which you will click download because you want your game, right? See, here you go, right here. And you hit download. Now, of course, personally, I'm going to download later because I'm going to sit here and edit this video together. So once that's all squared away and you're all ready to go, just hit the home button. You're done shopping for the day. Click close. I bet you guys know the drill by now. And just close your 3DS. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and I hope it helped you out. If you have questions, please comment down below. I'll be sure to answer them as quickly and as best as I can. So until next time, guys, I'm Ultramag64. As always, happy gaming!